I don't know. I've always been quite content with just my family. I don't understand it. Perhaps, perhaps I was too quick in turning him down, Lori. If he asked me again, I think I would say yes. Do you think he'll ask me again? I care more to be loved. I want to be loved. I just, I just feel that, I, I, I just feel like women, they've got minds and, and souls as well as hearts. And they've got ambition and talent as well as just beauty. And I'm so sick of being told that Love is all a woman is meant for. I'm so sick of it. But, but I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. Why shouldn't I work for the NSA? It's a tough one. I'll take a shot. Say I'm working for the NSA and somebody puts a poem on my desk. Something no one else could break. Maybe I take a shot at it, and maybe I break it, and I'm real happy with myself because I did my job well. Maybe that code was the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East. If they have that location, they bombed the village where the rebels are hiding. 1,500 people I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Now the politicians are saying, oh, it's in the Marines to secure the area because they don't give a shit. It's not their kid over there getting shot, just like it wasn't them when their number got called because they were all pulling a tour for the National Guard. To be some kid from Southie taking shrapnel up the ass. And it comes back to find out that the plane he used to work at got explored to the country he just got back from. And the guy who put the shrapnel in his ass got his old job because he'll work for 15 cents a day and no bathroom breaks. Meanwhile, he realizes the only reason he was over there in the first place was so that we can install a government that sells oil at a good price. And of course, the oil companies used a little skirmish over there to scare up domestic oil prices. A cute little ancillary benefit for them, but I ain't helping my buddy at two fifty a gallon. And they're taking their sweet time bringing the oil back, of course. Maybe even taking the liberty of hiring an alcoholic skipper who likes to drink martinis and fucking play swallow with the icebergs. Ain't too long before he hits one, spills the oil, and kills all the sea life in the North Atlantic. So now my buddy's out of work, so he's got to walk to the fucking job interviews, which sucks because the shrapnel's ass is getting on chronic hemorrhoids. Meanwhile, he's starving because every time he tries to get a bite to eat, the only blue plate special they're serving is North Atlantic Scrog Quaker State. So what did I think? I'm holding out for something better. I figure, fuck it. While I'm at it, why not just shoot my buddy, take his job, give it to a sworn enemy, hike up gas prices, bomb a village, club a baby seal, hit the hash pipe, and join the National Guard. I could be elected president. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'm very passionate about dance. I do partner styles like salsa, bachata, waltz, and swing, and a lot more, and I love dancing with other people. I love holding someone else's hand and sharing that important feeling of connection. It means so much to me, and it makes me physically feel my soul. <laughs> I am happiest when I'm dancing, and I was actually traveling with my family when I realized that dancing alone doesn't always feel the same. We were out for dinner in Texas and I was crying on the curb about how my art depends on another person. Not to mention these people are so hard to find. Unlike my brother who's a visual artist and can just sketch at any time, I need another person. I tend to see my glasses half empty so I felt incomplete. Don't worry, I'm working on it. My brother came to come for me and we actually heard music coming from down the street so he took my hand and we ran following the sound and we found a band playing Latin music and a bunch of strangers dancing with each other. This was so beautiful to me. Funny that I was just crying about the fact that I couldn't find passion anywhere and it was literally right around the corner. Love and passion and art is literally everywhere and I don't even have to be directly a part of it. I can just appreciate and observe. It may seem hard to find, but you just gotta keep an ear out.